Hello and welcome back to The Note. Have we just seen a dead cat bounce or is something significant going on? We've seen quite a reversal in a number of the most important trends of the last few months today. Let's start off with oil, still by far the most important. Brent crude has had another great day. At one point it was up more than 30% for its low from the year. It was actually up for the year as a whole for a while. Plainly an impressive gain and it's not restricted merely to oil. Copper had its strongest gain in 18 months today. Meanwhile, the strong dollar, blamed by many companies in the, the States for poor results in the last few days, the strong dollar had its uh, weakest day for a long time. On a trade-weighted basis, it had its worst day, in fact, in some 15 months. As for Treasury bonds, uh, the yield on the 10-year uh, Treasury rose by its most, again, in 15 months. Quite a reversal there after the very surprising fall in Treasury yields of recent months. Over in Europe, the Greek stock market regained all that it had lost since the election, plainly, mainly a response to uh, the news that the Greek government there is not going to play brinkmanship to quite the extent that some had feared over the possibility of a haircut for the Greek government debt. Broadly, across the world, stock markets have had a great day the S&P 500 has almost erased its losses for the year here in the US. Now, how can we explain this? There's no obvious external catalyst for it. Plainly, the macro, macro environment, exactly what central banks are going to do next, is very important. But I would suggest that if there's anything that might explain it, it's the hope that this rise in the oil price is real and that it's sustainable. If so, a lot of those other macro factors I just listed would fall into place. So there's perhaps nothing more important over the next few days. We've seen a lot of people probably merely taking profits, having sold short, having betted, bet on a fall in the oil price. After a 30% gain, they may well be tempted to bet on, bet on the oil price falling once more. Perhaps there's nothing more important for the next few days than to monitor that oil price and see if this recovery is sustainable or if it is just a dead cat bounce.